Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. So in our previous video, we featured train-themed cafes, but in this video, we're gonna be highlighting restaurants that are centered around the concept of water. So as you can see, we're in front of a gorgeous restaurant that will deliver our food using water. So let's go inside and see what that's all about. Let's go. Feels like I am in a secret garden. It is so beautiful. There's running water trickling down. There's a water mill. Look at this. This is amazing. I feel like I've walked into a Jubilee movie or something. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Apparently, this restaurant has been around for 60 years and just these wooden pillars are so remarkable. There's so much character in this building. And look, there is even a giant Tengu. Tengu are really famous in the Hachioji area and they're said to be gods that are guardians of the forest. Wow! This is so cool! There's another water mill in the back on the way to the individual private dining rooms. This place is so gorgeous. I feel like I'm not in Japan. And all of the dining rooms are private. This is the name of my dining room. It says Yoshinokawa, which is right here. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. Ooh, this is so cool. What a quiet little peaceful room. And I get it all to myself. All of the rooms are private, but they can open up like this too. Okay, so this is the menu here. They've got some pictures and there's a lot of different course menus you can order. All of them are a course set ranging from around 4,000 yen to a little over 6,000 yen. Oh, there's even one that's 8,000 yen, so you can go pretty high end as well. And I think I'm gonna get the one that's a blend of fish, a little bit of seafood, and meat. Really nice, let's get this one. このお店は誰にも邪魔されず、のどかな自然を感じていただきながら家族やご友人、恋人の皆様でお過ごしいただけるようにと完全個室でお作りしておりますまた海外の方も日本の文化に触れていただけるお作りとなっておりますのでぜ
Tsukune. This is a traditional Japanese chicken meatball. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. And it goes so well with this sauce. I knew it would go well with chicken. It is perfect. So this is the last part of the course. We've got some soba. This looks so nice. Matcha soba. That looks so good. I feel like this. I can't say that I really taste a strong matcha flavor, but it's cold noodles and it feels so refreshing in the summer. It's so good. But this wraps up my meal here at this wonderful, wonderful restaurant. I'm so glad we discovered this place. We have one more restaurant that is water themed. So I'm gonna wrap up my meal and let's go see what our next stop is all about. I am now back in central Tokyo here in Shibuya where it's now raining, very fitting for our water theme. And I'm at my last stop of the day, which is right here. It's called Zawo, and it's a restaurant where you can fish your own meal. So let's go inside and see what it looks like and catch your own fish. Let's go. So there are two places in this restaurant where you can catch your own fish. One of them is over there where you can use a fishing rod to catch your fish. And one of them is here where you can use a net to catch some smaller fish. And they have a lot of variety. There's some horse mackerel known as aji. And you can even get Japanese lobster. Wow. And there's a very large flounder at the bottom too. I've actually only ever seen one of these in Animal Crossing. So this is kind of exciting if you play that. <laughs> and now it's time to go learn how to fish. Okay, so we're gonna try and catch a sea bream fish today. There's a couple of different types of fish. So let's see what we can get. Catch it. to prepare the fish. Okay, so we're gonna prepare it as sushi and also as a fried dish as well. So it'll be very fresh. This Wow, this is amazing! We have a plate of wonderful sashimi of various different kinds of fish, and here is our main course of the day. It's sushi made out of the uh, sea bream that we just caught. But with our sushi, we have two different options of soy sauce. This is the Kanto style soy sauce, which is popular around Tokyo area. This is probably the one you're most used to tasting. And then we also have a Kyushu style soy sauce. It's a little bit richer, darker, and sweeter. Let's dig in and give it a try. Some freshly caught sea bream sushi. And here it's very important to say itadakimasu, which means to give thanks to the food and also to the fish that we are receiving this meal from today. So, itadakimasu. The soy sauce gives it a new flavor. It's definitely a little bit sweeter, and it's really jam-packed with umami. It's really, really like deep and flavorful. So that's a nice, a nice touch if you want to switch up your flavor. And we also have our fried version. Look at that, lovely fried meat. Let's give it a dip in the tartar sauce. That looks so good, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes just like fish and chips. The tartar sauce is really nice. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, very creamy. All right, so what should we try from our sashimi plate here today? 
I kind of just want to try this salmon. It looks really delicious. Look at that. I know all of you guys like salmon. I like salmon a lot too. So let's give this a try. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Very tender, almost creamy. That is a lovely, lovely slice of salmon. Let's take one more bite here. I'm gonna go in for one of these pieces of scallop. So let's give this a try. This time I wanna go back to the Kyushu style. I feel like it's gonna match really well. Mm. Whoa, when you eat them raw, they're even more tender than the salmon sashimi. They just it melts and disappears in your mouth. It's really tasty. I would recommend giving it a try. This is delicious! So lastly, there's a fun little activity you can join in on. It's actually for kids, but if you want to, anybody can join. And this is actually a really traditional Japanese game at summer festivals. So let's see how many bouncy balls I can get in my little net here. Here we go. Oh, okay. Nice, it's actually pretty strong, but you can only do this a number of times before it breaks. Ah, it broke. <laughs> One try, that was all I got. These bouncy balls, you can take them home. Um, so I'm gonna take home four of them, and it's a fun little activity. Yay! <laughs> Well, this concludes my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring water-themed restaurants with me. Um, from something very classy and like quiet getaway style in Hinadoriyama in Hachioji area, all the way to bustling Shibuya to this very fun and lively style restaurant. If you want something fun to do when you're in Tokyo, both of these restaurants were really, really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you very soon in another video. Bye guys!